everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you how to make this kawaii gumball machine using polymer clay and a few other materials as well. So start off by taking the base colour of your gumball machine, I'm using this pastel pink. You then want to start moulding it into a cone kind of shape except that the point on top will be flat. Then take some more of your base colour and roll it into a long coil and wrap this around the base and the top rim of the machine. If you have any excess clay, simply trim it off and blend the joins together. For the glass part of my gumball machine, I'm using these little glass orbs I got online from Miniature Suite, so I'll be leaving a link down below where they can be found. These particular ones I'm using in this video are 16mm in size. I firstly took some corn flour and rubbed some of it onto the clay and this will prevent the glass from getting stuck. I then pressed my glass ball into the clay to create a little crevice where it will be able to slot back into later. Then I took some light blue clay and rolled some small balls which I attached for the buttons on the gumball machine. I then also added a small piece of silver clay as the slot that the gumballs come out of. Moving on to the face, I firstly made two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and then made two balls of brown clay which I added in for the eyes. For the mouth, I made a small U-shaped coil and attached this on and then using a small paintbrush and a pink chalk pastel, I dusted on the cheeks. To make the very top of the gumball machine, I took some of my base pink colour and flattened this down slightly onto my work surface to create a little dome kind of shape. I then rolled a small ball of clay and added this to the centre, and then also wrapped a coil around the base and trimmed off the excess. Next I took some more of the corn flour and rubbed it onto the base of this piece and then finished shaping it onto my glass ball so that it will bake with a dome base and not be completely flat. It's then time to go ahead and bake both of these pieces in the oven according to your package's instructions. After baking, I took these fake sprinkles which I also got from Miniature Sweet and this is what I'll be using for the gumballs. You could also pre-bake some small balls of clay and use them if you prefer. I placed my glass ball onto some blue tack to prevent it from rolling around and then I used this tiny funnel I have from an old nail art kit to place in the gumballs. Of course, I know that not everyone will have a miniature funnel so the other thing you can do is make your own by rolling up some scrap paper and taping it together. I then just placed the funnel at the opening of the glass ball and slowly pulled in the gumballs. As you can see my funnel wasn't quite small enough so I did have a few escape and roll out but that's alright. And you want to fill this so that it's about half full. I then took some super glue and applied it to the slot that the glass ball made before in the clay and then stuck these two parts together upside down so that the balls don't roll out. You want to hold them together for a few moments so that it has a chance to stick together properly and I just placed mine back onto the blue tack while it was drying. Once the glue had completely dried you can turn it back up the right way and add some more glue to the very top where we will be sticking on the other little piece that we made. And then when everything has dried and is nicely stuck in place, you can go ahead and glaze all the clay parts as you normally would. So that is everything for this tutorial on how to make a polymer clay gumball machine. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Here are some photos of charms made by you guys that I found in the RagyH96 hashtag on both Instagram and Crafty Amino.
If you make your very own kawaii gumball machine or any other creation inspired by me, be sure to share a photo using the hashtag so that I can easily find it and then you could be featured at the end of an upcoming tutorial.